Andre, you know we get a ton of emails and everybody is asking for cheapest trucks out there. So yeah. today we're gonna do a really fun video because we're on our way to three different dealerships to find the cheapest truck. Yeah, we're gonna see Toyota trucks, we're gonna see Fords, we're gonna see General Motors trucks, and also Rams. Yeah, so sit back and relax and enjoy as we go truck hunting for the cheapest truck we can find for all of you guys out there who keep saying there's no such thing as a cheap truck. And also, I found a gem, Roman. Brand new trucks. We're not talking about used trucks. No. Brand new trucks. I found a gem. Just wait. Just wait. All right. I can't wait, Andre. So, uh, shall we go to Toyota first? Let's do it. All right, Andre, our continuing quest to find the cheapest new truck. Yes. We've come here to uh, Mountain States Toyota. And the reason we're here is because, well, they're one of the biggest dealers in Denver. Yep. Uh, they don't charge over sticker. Right. And they don't charge a dealer handling fee, which can be, you know, a significant amount of money. Which could be five to six hundred dollars um, at some other dealers. And they fixed our taco. So we thought, why not give them some love? Uh, so as you can tell, they have a lot of forerunners, uh, but they also <laughs> have a lot of Tundras and Tacoma. So yeah. I think here are all their Tundras. Yes. Uh, so shall we go for the hunt? for the uh, most expensive and then the cheapest one. I have some bad news, Roman. What's that? Uh, it appears we've entered the capstone section of the Tundra, which is the most expensive section of the Tundra. So yeah, come look over here. 80,695 right there. Yeah. So this would not be the most affordable Tundra. Um, this is also a hybrid, okay. right? So it's a twin turbo V6, 3.4 liters. It's got electric motors and it's the most luxurious dare I say it, Lexus-like Tundra. And you can tell it's the most expensive because it's got the chrome grille with Tundra in bold chrome. And you can also tell it's a hybrid by the blue outline on the logo, uh, just giving you a hint that there's a hybrid powertrain underneath, but it's called iForce Max, which means it's the most powerful version of the Tundra. You know, I remember when uh, we were um, at the launch of the Tundra and they kept talking about the different grills, and I was like really shocked that they were because obviously here we have a TRD Pro. Yeah. And now you've got a blacked out grill with, uh, of course, you know, Toyota boldly spelled across the front. Uh, and this isn't gonna be cheap either, is it? No, and of course this is a Pro, so it has the, you know, the light bar. Do you have a sticker there? Yeah, it's over here. Let's look at the sticker. All right, let's take a look. So uh, now we're getting a little cheaper. So we've gone from 80, basically 1,000 uh, to 73,980. Yeah, that's getting better. Now, and I, then, I did say they didn't charge a dealer handling fee, but there is a delivery process and handling fee of eighteen fifty. Well, that's the manufacturer. That's yeah. that's the shipping and handling. I, exactly. So I didn't want people in the first comment being like, "Hey, I thought you said there was no dealer handling fee." All right. So we need to keep moving, right? Yeah. Right. Because so, we want to find the most affordable yeah, truck. I'm assuming a grill like this is more affordable. Okay. But this is also uh, the hybrid, right? Yeah, iForce Max. So you got 437 horsepower, 583 pound-feet of torque. It says Max right here. Once again, it's a hybrid. How much is this guy? Uh, this guy Are we going is. Going down in price. This is uh, limited. So limited is kind of in the middle of yep. the range, and this price is 66,119. Look, we're going down, dude. We are. We started 80. 70 now we're down to 60. okay yes yeah, we're going the right way no we need to go much further how far can we go on a tundra um well let's find out all right all right now over here i'm looking at a lot of uh, a lot of fancy grills a lot of fancy grills but i do see one over there that's not so fancy oh there's a 1794 that's also their luxury model one of their luxury trucks all right well let's see how much that is okay i'm sure now we're gonna go back in price again let's see 1794 that is, of course, the year that the ranch where uh, the Tundra is built in Texas was established, right? Yeah, in San, near San Antonio, Texas. We're back in the 70s, dude. $71,855. Okay, wrong, wrong, wrong way. way. Wrong way, let's wrong find way. one that's going the right way. So I think um, I yeah. know one. I right. looked it up. Okay. I looked it up. I was looking online and... Uh, wait a minute, this might be it. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh yeah, we got it unlocked. All right. So All right. this is, I think this is it. Yeah, I mean, look, pretty basic mirrors, you know, blacked out grill. All right, I'm covering up the price. Yeah. Andre, take a guess, well, you know? Is it low 50? I think it's 50. 50,529. 
Well, the question is, what do you get for that? So SR5. It's a short cab, Roman. Short, look, dude, I can't even get my feet back here. <laughs> <laughs> look hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna move the seat off. Okay. So this is this is kind of a their short cab called the double. Mm -hmm. Their big cab is called the Crew Max. So how can you fit now? Yeah, I can fit now. So no sunroof. We've got cloth seats. Uh, we have you know uh, no hybrid powertrain. Nope, standard, standard but, three and a half liter. Uh, 3.4 liter. That, that plastic steering wheel isn't too awful. No, actually, the steering wheel is pretty nice. Um, and also, it's four-wheel drive. Which is really nice. So, yeah. here, here's the crazy thing, right? Our Tacoma costs $45,000. So, yes. for $5,000 more, we could have had a full-size truck. Yeah, but, but once again, this is not a full crew cab, right? Sure. So, But ne neither is a Tacoma. No, it's right? not. It just has more room than Tacoma. Right. You know? <laughs> but look, this has a trailer brake controller. Yeah. You know, this will pull more weight than a taco. Yeah. How much will it pull? Um, it's I, rated... Did I stump you? Let's see. Taco's rated like 6,500. Yeah, taco is 6,500. I think this is 10,000? Yeah, ish. Yeah. Give or take. Yeah, so it, it's still a significant amount more. And you know, even though it's tight back here, I, the seats are a little bit upright, I could certainly, you know, spend some time back here. It's not horrible. It's not like a penalty box. It's not like being in the third row of a three-row SUV. But you are missing a lot of buttons there, Andre. Look. I have, I have a lot of empty spaces, yeah. but I do have traction control. Of course, electric parking brake. I have tow hole mode, which is pretty cool. Drive modes. So, you know, I mean, this is kind of a full featured truck. I mean, it's got trailer package with trailer brake controller. It's got four wheel drive. It's got tow hole mode. It's got drive modes. What else do you need, Roman? I need to look at a cheap taco. <laughs> Let's go find a cheap Tacoma. Oh, okay. Because they have Tacomas now. Yeah, yeah. Which is cool. Uh, and look at that. We've got three of them right here. And I, I think I see, see more here. So there's a whole, um, kind of news the news was dominated last couple of weeks by either stop sales or recalls right but these are trucks being delivered you know they're, they're actually shipped and delivered and they're here for sale and they're for sale so let's see what this guy is here's an sr5 oh my look at that forty two thousand dollars yes that's not bad is there cheaper uh no i think that's probably the cheapest and this one yeah. we can actually get into yeah this one was also 42 and change. That's not bad. This is 42,923. Ah, uh, but, but, the, but, but Andre, there is a caveat, isn't there? What? It doesn't have the locker. It doesn't, nope. It doesn't have the center locker like our off-road does. Let me try to get in the back seat. Okay. I'll show you the difference. And it doesn't have the cool seats like ours. So here. All right, now I've got room. Can you sit in front of me? I could try. Give it a try. If I was five foot tall, no, I can't. You can't? I move back a little bit. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, you can go wait. farther. Wait, if I go like this. You can go back, I got more room. A little more? Yeah, uh, you know, I, 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 every time I take a truck somewhere, everybody complains about how tiny the back seat is. There, I'm pretty comfy. Are you pretty comfy? Are you? I'm pretty comfy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. You know, uh, look, for $42,000, it's not a Tundra. But it's, you know, it's here and it's not marked up and it's, it's available. It's missing a brake controller, I mean. Well, so is ours. Yes. <laughs> no, but, but that's what you're getting with a full-size truck, you know. Right. It's, of course, it's more expensive. And you can get a built-in uh, trailer brake controller from Toyota for the taco. It's also got the small screen. Is that a different steering wheel than ours or is it the same? It looks about the same. Really? And by the way, all new tacos have the, now their new uh, safety system. Yeah. Yeah, so TSS 3.0. So you get like blindside monitoring, even on the base ones. Uh huh. Or the SR5 in this case. And the gauges are a little bit different. So you do have a digital screen here in the center, but you do have a traditional uh, fuel, traditional fuel and, and temperature gauges on the side. You also get, uh, you don't have to like bedline it, which is nice, Andre, huh? Oh yeah, this uh, does have an optional bed liner. So this is a little bit confusing yeah. because tacos, do you want to open this? Yeah, sure. Uh, tacos have composite beds, right? Yeah. The new ones. Yeah. So this is kind of a um, composite, but you can make it more grippy by spraying a little bit of a layer of a bed liner. Yeah, yeah, nice. All right. And it cleats, it has cleats. It has cleats, yeah. That's really, really sweet. Uh, and, you know, backup camera, the little, Little points for uh, wiring, wiring, trailer which is wiring. Really nice. So they don't have a lot of Tacomas right now, 
So like you saw, you know, two here, one there. They have a couple more. I gotta say, I though, think coming in. I gotta say, Andre, for eight thousand dollars more, I think I get the Tundra. <laughs> you get a lot more truck for eight. And a bigger bed too. And a bigger bed. Yeah. 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 Well, hey, Tundra, come on over here for a sec, would you? Uh, this is Hunter. He's he's a guy who helped us out when our uh, Hunter. Thank you very yeah, much. Nice. When our uh, um, taco broke. Uh, and by the way. We're always transparent. No one's paying us anything to do this. We're not getting a commission, but we just wanted to thank Hunter and Mountain State Suda for helping us out. Uh, so if somebody wants one of these, how do they get a hold of you, Hunter? Uh, you can call the dealership or come in and just ask for me. My name's Hunter, and I'll get, make sure and get you taken care of for sure. Mountain State Toyota. Exactly. Mountain State Toyota here in Denver. And guys, if you're somewhere outside of Colorado, you guys do that as well, right? You yep. don't have to be in Colorado. How many uh, Tacomas do you guys have now that just arrived? Uh, right now we have these four SR5s, and then we have a couple of sports coming in and a couple of TRD off-roads. Nice. Very nice. And I suppose those will go pretty quickly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they're either pre-sold or, you know, people are coming in. Exactly. Yeah. They're coming in as fast as we're going out as fast as we're getting them in. Really. That's what's happening. I sold two of them on Saturday. Well, thank you for making us, uh, making us a uh, priority. Thank you for helping us do this video. And Andrew, shall we keep moving? Let's go. Keep right. moving. Thanks, dude. Of course. For all of our Ford fans, we've showed up here in Brighton, Colorado at our friends at Brighton Ford. Yep. And now we're going to go look at some Ford vehicles, but we're not doing the super duties, are we? All right. So no heavy duties in this episode because they're very, very expensive, right? If you're buying a diesel heavy duty, it could be eighty, ninety, dollars hundred thousand dollars But we do have a whole line of Ford trucks. So we will look at, I think, the most expensive and the cheapest one here. But if it were my money, Andre, I am a sucker for the F-150 Tremor. I just think you get a lot of off-road goodness for not a lot of money. Yeah, so it's got 33s, off-road tires, it's got uh, rear locker, four-wheel drive, four low. And judging by the headlamps, Roman, this probably is not the most expensive Tremor. How much uh, do you think? Well, I think they start near 60, okay. if I remember correctly. So this, I'm gonna say 62. Go, is... go, go behold your eyes on how relatively affordable this is. Whoa, uh, well, 66,660. Yeah, but here's the thing, Andre. It would cost you more if you wanted to build this out yourself when you look at, you know, the tires, the wheels, the lift, the rock rails, all the stuff that it comes with, as opposed to actually just buying it from the factory and getting a factory warranty. Look, you've got your recovery hooks. Yep. You've got this kind of cool gold color, which signifies this is, of course, and it's locked. Oh, well. <laughs> we won't go inside. But here's the cool thing. Right next to it yeah. is a truck that, you know, is much more affordable. How much do you think this uh, STX is? Okay, so it's red. It's a crew cab. Yeah, don't look at it. I'm not looking at it yet. Okay. okay. It's got 20s. Yep. Uh, I'm going to say 50-ish. Very good. What? Check it out. You're what? so close. What? Oh, wow. Okay, 51. 140, 51,140. And this has the 2.7 liter V6, which is quite popular actually, the twin turbo um, in the Ford truck. You know, that's not horrible. 50,000 basically for a four wheel drive, arrest me red <laughs> pickup. So this is similar to what the Tundra was yeah. that we saw. Yeah, about, okay. about there, yeah. Okay. Yeah, kind of same level. Now of... this is uh, heritage edition Ford. Yes, I like the color. By the way, you know, we have many F-150s here. Yeah. I'm not seeing any 2024 models yet. Mm, so there's something going on and they're not here yet. And this one has a sticker and it's, oh, 64. 60, so we went the wrong way. We did go the wrong way. And I'd rather get the Tremor okay. than the Heritage Edition. Although the paint job is quite nice on this one. Yeah, it is a cool paint job. But look, for 64, this is what Ford does too, which kind of makes me a little angry. You still have to bed line it. Yeah, I know, which could be 600 bucks. There is a little power outlet in the bed back there. What's the, and po what's the power train on this guy? I think it's a three and a half. Is it a 3.5? Uh, yeah, EcoBoost right yeah. there. Yeah, so it's a lot of power. So 400 horsepower, plenty so of power. But we're here looking for uh, cheap trucks, not expensive Let's trucks. Let's keep going. This is about the same. Yeah. Oh, I see an expensive truck. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> all right, this could be the most expensive F-150 here. This, of course, is the Lightning, which is all electric, but... It's the Platinum. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so it's got the crazy seats, 800-way <clears throat> seats. It's also locked. Um, how much do you think this is? 
Oh gosh, I mean it's got the big wheels, it's the fanciest lightning. Ours, nice. How much was ours when we bought it? It was like So ours was like 77? Yeah. Ours was an XLT, no, Lariat. Ours is a Lariat. Ours was a Lariat. This is uh, with a long range battery. I'm, I'm thinking gonna it's say, at least 90, huh? At least. All right, let's see, what the, let's see what the sticker says. Okay, I'm gonna say like 94. Yeah. Oh, okay, so 94,990. Uh, 95. 95,000, basically. And, you know, they fluctuated these prices. First they increased them, then they decreased them. So it's kind of a moving target. I, I bet you can get some money off this if you wanted to. Probably, if you, if you wanted to uh, negotiate. Yeah, and I would say if you want to get, lease it. Definitely lease it, because that way you get, the, uh, you get all the tax credits uh, if you qualify, obviously. And in a couple of years, you could, you know. Upgrade to the next yeah, one. Yeah, you could, you could change it. All right, these are all hilarious. Same, 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 yeah. Oh, I see an interesting truck. Aha! Ah, the Ford F-150 XL. It's like stubby, except it's not stubby. Yeah, and you know what? You got the key? I have the key to it. All right, why does it say demonstrator, Andre? So here's, uh, some dealership do this. Yeah. Actually, most dealerships do this. So this is a demonstrator. So basically a demo truck, they call it, or sometimes a loan vehicle. Okay. So if your F-150 is in for um, service yeah. or something going on, you could borrow a truck for a couple of days. And this is one of those, this is one of those trucks. So this is an Excel work truck. It's, it's four wheel drive, correct? Yeah, yeah. It's got uh, two it's got high, four wheel drive, four high and four low. It's got the extra third row seat here, so it's kind of like stubby. We've got plastic uh, or vinyl, vinyl on, the flooring. on the floor. You know, nothing fancy here, but you do have real buttons, which I like. Look, you even have a USB-C. Yeah. Uh, and then you got, you know, all your steering wheel controls. And cruise control, Roman. And cruise control. But the plastic, you, you, love, the, me. you love these plastic steering wheels, right? Oh, yeah, I love that plastic steering wheel, Andre. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, how much? I looked it up. Yeah? 40000 Two hundred dollars, just over forty grand. So the uh, cheapest truck we've seen so far. Well, pop the hood. This is interesting too. It's under the hood. Yeah. Uh, this is a yeah. Is, the it, is it a two seven? No, it's not. I'm, I don't think it's a three five. It's too cheap for that. And by the way, this truck has like seven hundred miles. It's a Coyote. It's a Coyote V eight. Dang. So it's a good old V eight. Um, so for forty grand, four wheel drive. But you only have two doors. Hmm. So that's kind of the rub on this truck. Yeah. Um, it's stubby. Uh, for, but, but, but for just over 40k and about 750 miles on the clock, I think this is, could be the, the, well the best deal we've seen so far. Yeah, but I've got a cheaper truck. Let me show you. You do? I do. Oh shoot! Oh god! Now I gotta slam it. There we go. It's aluminum. Yeah. All right. Let me show you. Come on. Let's keep walking. Okay. We're gonna walk by all Ooh, these. Oh, dude, transits. Yeah, we're gonna buy all these vans. No, we're not buying transits. No, we're not buying transits. Oh look. Clearance, 49,000, yeah. It's not bad. That's all-wheel drive. Used. Oh, is it used? Another used. These are hard to find, dude, because... Oh, 64. 64,000. 89,000. It's a shuttle van. Oh. 76,000 oh shuttle gosh. van. And then you got a Ram. Which one does not belong here? All-wheel drive. <laughs> yeah. But I've got... So... I've got a cheaper truck. Oh! Yes, of course. I see Mavericks. That's where we're going. I see yeah. Mavericks. It's got to be... Uh, uh, thank you. That's got to be one of the cheapest trucks uh, you could probably in the buy world. right now. Of course, now we've gone down a size, so we're in the compact world. Uh, and this is an XLT. Of course, XLTs are not the cheapest. All right, but let's keep moving. Let me show you, though, inside. So this guy, this XLT, Andre. Oh, it's an FX4, too. So it's an off-road model. Yeah, 32,000. Oh, look at the colorful interior. But I do it like is a nice interior. I do like the interior. It's very colorful. These can get very bland, but it is not the cheapest truck here. I'll show you the most. And it's all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. I'll That's show you cool. The, the most expensive one. Oh, the Tremor. Yeah. Let's see how much that guy is before I show you the cheapest one. So with the Tremor, of course, you're getting the lift, you're getting the off-road tires, you're getting the funky wheels, and you're getting a price tag that approaches. 40k at Tacoma Once again 39,000 so that's 39,945 so it's almost the same as that V8 F150 but fear not Andre because look at this yes yes look at this guy cheapest truck 29,075 now we're talking and I bet you there's some I bet you there might be uh some wiggle room there I'm guessing so, maybe so not. it's in hot pepper red yep. color yep it's an XL 
So base model, all wheel drive though. So it's got a two liter straight four turbo. Yeah, the biggest problem with these is you can't get the hybrid. I'll jump in, see if there's enough room for both of us. And I've got plenty of room, I can move my seat up. I do have a little bit of knee space, Roman. Yeah, that's pretty It's good. quite amazing. Yeah. How about, how are you feeling up I there? I feel great, yeah. You kind of wish that Tacoma had done the same thing. <laughs> you know? So how did Ford get so much space out of a small truck? Yeah, it's Ford uh, magic, dude, I don't know. They seem to have, uh, probably, well, first of all, it's a unibody truck, right? And it's got a short bed. It's, it's, got, a, it's, it's only got a like a four bed. foot bed. Yeah, so you're not body on frame, which, you know, it's probably a little bit more uh, ergonomically easy to and package. And it's, it's still really hard to find a hybrid, Roman. You know, the hybrids are only front wheel drive and they're very efficient, but I've never seen it on a lot. They all get sold out. Yeah, well, you can't, but you can't get the hybrid and the all wheel drive. No. Ford, come on. You know, the, the country that's above the snow line, you know, we want both fuel economy and all wheel drive. Why are you making us choose? Especially because there's an escape here somewhere, I bet, which is what this is based on, that you can get all wheel drive with hybrid. And a hybrid, yeah. yes. Yeah, so that's, that's always a little bit of a head scratcher. But so, something else is missing on this lot. What's that? Rangers. We looked, we looked everywhere. No new Rangers, my friend. But this week, Andre, you are going to the Ranger program. Yep. So coming up very soon this week, we're gonna have wall-to-wall -wall new Ranger coverage. So be sure to come back to alltfl.com. I gotta tell you, if this were two years ago, I'd buy this. I love the color. I think that'd be a great investment for and TFL. And Steelies too. The Steelies, I'm a sucker for Steelies. It's just, at this point, any review that's, uh, you know, been Done, has been done. Yeah, it has. There's just not a lot we could do or say that would be new and refreshing. All right, shall we head off uh, to one more dealership? Yeah, let's look at GM and Ram. All right, is this, you think this is the cheapest truck we'll find? It might be, but, but I still have a surprise. You said you have a this surprise. This was not my surprise. That was my surprise. I, uh, it's coming, still. And, and if you're interested in any of these trucks, once again, not commissioned, head on over to Brighton Ford here yeah. in Brighton and talk to who? Maynard. Maynard, is Maynard or our man? a shot. All the guys, actually, we, we, we've, we've been here many times. There you go. All right, let's uh, hit the road. <clears throat> Andre, um, I think you lied to our viewers because this looks like a 2024 to me, dude. Yeah, you're right. There it uh, is, 2024 F-150. Brand new, on the lot. STX. Yes. With the what? What is it under the hood? Well, let's check the sticker, but what's new is, of course, the grill, the headlamps, the new badge, they kind of did it in new blue and white. So I'm, I'm guessing I haven't seen the sticker yet. 62. No, you're a little high. Am I? Dang. But look, new colors. Look yeah. at this. Yeah, look, at that, huh? look at this, new colors. Yeah. That's a little it avocado looks, green. It That's looks like interesting choice. <laughs> it's a, it's a 2.7, Roman. Yeah. Avalanche color, 2.7 EcoBoost. Not avocado, huh? 50, <laughs> well, the accents are avocado. 52,575. That's not bad. Here's it looks nice. Here's it the question. Nice. I, mean, I mean, this, you know, this competes directly with that Tundra we saw over at Toyota. Yeah. Uh, but this know. is a bigger cab. We saw a shorter cab Tundra. Yeah. yeah. So actually, this is not too bad. It's not too bad. All right. Okay. Let's head over to the next dealership now. So, time for Ram, Andre. Yep. Here at Johnson's Auto Plaza and let's see how cheap we can get. But this is not gonna be cheap, is it? No, we're starting over here on this side between a very nice limited truck and another limited truck. And I'm betting these ones, these are not 2025s, by the way. These are 2024s. I'm betting they're gonna be over 80. All right, I'm looking at the upside down sticker and I see it 85,000. 85, 265. 85, yeah, that's a lot of so money. So that's not it. No, but you know, Ram has really up their game uh, in their interiors. And also they still have this. They still have the e-torque. Hem Hemi. All right. No, no, not the e-torque. Okay. Hemi, Hemi, Hemi. It also says e-torque. I know. But, so it's but, got both. But the most important part is the <laughs> Hemi, okay? Yes, yes. So that's a VA powered yes. e-torque. Uh, but you know, the great thing about Rams is uh, that they're just uh, really nice inside. Not that they're bad on the outside, but the insides feel like you could be in any luxury vehicle from around the world. Yeah, and also ride quality, right? Really nice and supple, very nice riding trucks, and also quite capable. So let's see what we got here. I'm kind of see something that would. Be... Oh, remember we all we had the truck like this, like in 2019. How much did we pay for a Ram ours? Rebel? Ours was like 55. What, what do we call it? Uh, Rebel Rouser. Rebel Rouser. Okay. All right. So here's the Rebel Rouser 2024 edition at uh, 76515. 
Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's not it. Yeah, the world has definitely changed, Andre, in the last uh, four years. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, not in some ways for the better. Uh, but we got to do better than that, right? I mean, I'm sure there are some RAN uh, guys and gals out there who are looking for a new truck. And we can't, we can't let them think that they're only seventy or $85,000 trucks, right? Yeah, but also it used to be that RAM was kind of the affordable choice, right? Not anymore. Um, but not not the trucks we have seen right now. Oh, look, a classic. Oh, this could be it. Okay, how much is a classic? But it's not By the stubby. Way, it's a four-door. It's a full crew cab. It's yeah. not stubby. It's got steelies. Four-wheel drive? Four-wheel drive. Let's look. So when we bought ours, yes, we had to, we had to fly all the way uh, to Idaho to get it. Yep. It was 38,000 at the time. I thought it was the cheapest uh, full-size truck you could buy, but it was only, you know, two-door. Yes, and a short bed, right? A short bed. Uh, this is not it. This is a crew cab. Right. Uh, and ours had a V6, right? right? Ours had a Pentastar. Now this also has a Pentastar, Roman. Okay. And it starts at 44,000, but this guy is 49.8. So we're getting 49, cheaper. 8 but still not uh, like... Well, this is more affordable than the Tundra we saw, than the F-150 we saw. You know what gets you here? It's a four-wheel drive. That's like a $7,000 option, Andre. It does. Yeah. You can, but, get, you can get this in two-wheel... Well, here's the thing. So, um, you know, we, we've picked these dealerships because we use them to buy our own cars. We trust and them. And trucks. Uh, and trucks. And we trust them and we know that they, you know, treat people well. Yeah. Uh, because when I was looking for Stubby, there were a lot of places that advertised uh, these vehicles that were never on the lot. You know what I mean? They were, it was like, oh, there's one I can get for 32,000. And then you call them up and they'd be like, oh, let's check the inventory. And oh, we just sold it. It's like bait and switch, right? Yeah. Like baiting and switching. So these are on the lot. <laughs> okay. They're here. But this is my surprise. Another Ram. What's so surprising uh, about um, it? Well, let's open it up. Okay. All right. Well, so let me see the sticker first of all. Okay, it's a tradesman. Yeah, uh, it's got a say. night package. So look, it's got the black grill, okay. black surrounds. It's got fog lamps. It's got a Hemi, and it's, it's got a got... price tag of fifty-five. How is that surprising? Okay, I I used my internet searching skills. Okay, come around and look inside. This is the latest, of course. Because it's been sitting here for a little while. It's a 2024, though. It's a 2024, not a 2025. Very comfortable, six-person seating. Do you, do you see that? Yeah. Um, this comes up. Small screen. Small screen. Yeah. Um, it currently has up to like almost seven and a half thousand dollars rebate. Ooh, on the hood? On the hood. Okay. Yeah. So when you take this fifty-five thousand dollar price minus the rebates that are currently offered. This is a $47,000 truck, basically. Hey, where was this bad boy when we were looking for Stubby? <laughs> <laughs> but you get a lot of truck for that money. You do get a lot of truck. Although no bed line. What, what is up with manufacturers and not bed lining their trucks? I think that's a way to, you know, make some extra money yeah. in the aftermarket, right? I don't yeah. uh, love the wheels, Andre. Well, there's a, these are 20s. Yeah, they're kind of too sport truck-like. I'd rather have the off-roady ones, but that's can easily I, Can I listen one. to the Hemi just as we close? Yeah, start up. Let, let, me, let me start. Yeah, Guys, start go up. over there. I'll, I'll stand over here. Go over there. Because as you know, the Hemi is going away, being replaced by the Hurricane, which is a six-cylinder, unfortunately. So I'm going to take my... Uh, take my mic. Hold on. Oh, well, I'll just... And I lost my mic clip. There it is. We're nothing but professional here at TFL. <laughs> All right, Andre. <laughs> you had your fun, dude. That now this good. this was my surprise, Roman. Yeah. So both uh, the Ford and now uh, the Ram you can get in a V8. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. So there you have it. Hopefully you guys saw the the state of the industry as we speak. Right. Those are the most affordable new pickup trucks. Yeah. So next time you're gonna you know type a comment. <laughs> We've tried to show you that, you know, there are deals to be had, and I use the word deals in quotes, but it's not all $90,000 and, um, you know, the most expensive, the most luxurious, uh, the most uh, featured out trucks you can get. There are still trucks that are affordable that can be had for, you know, let's say around 40000 and if you don't mind going compact, much less than that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you don't want to go compact, do you, Andre? 
No, I think this is my, my heart is with this truck. Yeah, once you go compact, it's yeah. not good. Once you go full size, it's hard to go compact. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for joining us, and we shall see you over where, Andre? At altfl.com. It's one place for all of the videos, all the news that we do, altfl.com. Ciao. You know, Andre, we could not leave our Chevy guys and gals out of this because we have a bonus. Yeah, this is it. This is another stubby truck. <laughs> it is another stubby truck. It's, it's a two-door, but it's a brand new 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500. And this is the most affordable that we have in the real world here at Johnson. Yeah, so obviously there are a lot more expensive trucks that Chevy makes, but this is about as affordable as it gets. So shall we uh, show them first what's under the hood and yeah. then how much it costs? Yeah, let's, let's take a look. There's a lot of non-stubby stubbies here. Andre. Big, big, huge stubbies? Yeah, they're long stubbies. So it says turbo under the hood because <laughs> it's the same engine as in my Colorado. So about four years ago, Chevrolet and GMC introduced this 2.7 straight four. And now, of course, it's a high output version, they call it 310 horsepower and 430 pound feet of torque. Now, I know it sounds uh, horrible to put a four cylinder into a full-size truck. I can already see the comments coming, but yes. this is a gem of an engine, actually. It is a gem, yeah. and it's also 430 horse um, um, pound-feet of torque. That's a, more than that Hemi V8 well, well, there's, in the Ram. There's a good thing and a bad thing about it. What? So the good thing is the price tag, and the bad thing is what it sounds like. Okay. <laughs> so, so we'll show you both. So we're looking at a price of uh, 45350 and uh, I'll pop it open so you can see kind of what the interior looks like. This is definitely a work truck. Once again, we're on Steelys. Once again, we got seating for three. Uh, if you like being buddy-buddy with that uh, person in the middle. Uh, but you know, it's not bad. I mean, this is what once upon a time what trucks were before they all had to be lifted and luxuriated with massaging seats. Any massaging seats, Andre? No. But Sun also, roof? no, nothing. No? Okay. Vinyl floors, like you said, and also the previous generation center console. Well, you got to so, do some cost cutting somewhere. All right. So you start it up, and I'll uh, put the mic by the uh, exhaust. All right. I'm going to fire it up. Okay, that's enough. It is definitely quiet, would be the best word I would use to describe it. So we've gone from that Hemi uh, howl. Uh, to the four banger, uh, what would you call that, Andre? Four banger? Scream. Uh, well, it's not a scream. Well, I heard the turbocharger whine. Yeah, I'd go four banger whine. But it doesn't sound good. Four banger four whistle? Whistle. Yeah, How about a, a whistle? whistle, yeah. Whistle. Well, there you have it. Now we're done. Uh, and let us know in the comments below which one of these trucks that we've showed you, you would buy. And if you want any of them, they're for sale here at uh, Johnson's Auto Plaza in Brighton. Of course, over at... Uh, Brighton Ford, and then we started Mountain States Toyota. Toyota. Now we'll yeah. see you next time. Ciao.